I'm attempting to give Karen, my case manager, this paper. If I were a black lady who was enraged, things would have become violent. The prime time of Steve Harvey looks to be quickly coming to an end. The formerly popular TV host, known for his endearing charm and sharp humor, is currently caught up in a storm of criticism and controversy. There have been rumors that Harvey might soon be the target of severe child abuse allegations, shocking both the entertainment world and his devoted fan base. This time, Steve Harvey seems to be concealing a sinister and unsettling secret under his carefully cultivated persona as a devoted husband and father. A side of Harvey that no one could have predicted has been revealed by newly discovered evidence. The TV star is accused of committing unspeakable acts of cruelty and brutally assaulting his young son Winton after getting custody of him. But there are still more frightening disclosures to come. Many people are wondering about Harvey's actual nature after hearing disturbing accusations that he participated in very unpleasant behavior. Even Steve Harvey's great riches and power may not be sufficient to protect him from the approaching backlash given the severity of the claims that have brought the storm surrounding him to a head. There are now rumors that the authorities still have tangible proof of Steve's horrible abuse of his son Winton all these years later. There is no space for doubt or speculative thinking now that this shocking news has shocked the public and the entertainment industry alike. About that. What was she there for, ma'am? She was present because she had to. A commitment? What do you mean? Which day did she attend? A dedication. On 2012 12 19 2013, you reside here. The 19th of December 2013. Why do you say that? What is the obligation? Meaning she is okay. She arrived here when the warrant arrived. 1031, 2011. The judge thus mandated that she serve a few days in prison. That is a commitment, then. He explains to her that, you know, weekends or other times are spent in jail. Okay. So the warrant was issued on December 11th, is that correct? Do you mean to say that? When was the arrest warrant for her issued? Due to the fact that she had court on December 19th. She was thus held there. Do you mean to say 2013 or 2011? She arrived on October 31st, 2011. Due to his wealth and influence, Steve Harvey may be able to escape danger. And as the weight of the evidence against him mounts, he seems to be breaking down. Not this time, though. The fact that the police have concrete evidence of the alleged abuse gives the charges an irrefutable degree of legitimacy, further igniting the already tumultuous debate about the incident. The pieces of this Harvey's puzzle are now coming together, illuminating Mary Harvey, Steve Harvey's second wife, and her unwavering quest to expose Steve's dishonesty. Long-standing rumors and questions have surrounded Mary's resolve to expose the reality beneath Steve's meticulously crafted facade. And it looks that she may not have only been motivated by a desire for vengeance against herself. The fact that Mary had strong proof of Steve's marital infidelity and maybe other shady actions, however, also became clear much earlier. The information that he treated their son Winton badly supports Mary's claim that her motivations went much beyond her personal concerns and were instead oriented on shielding Winton from a possibly hazardous environment. There are several claims that Steve's parenting is far from ideal and that he shows partiality and ignores the emotional needs of his own children. Sincerely, nobody deserves that. Winton has overcome numerous obstacles to carve out a successful career for himself as a burgeoning fashion model and excellent photographer. With his remarkable work and endearing demeanor, Winton Harvey has established a name for himself in the field. However, it doesn't mean he isn't also dealing with the effects of his father's douchey behavior when he was still a teenager. Going back in time, Winton Harvey is actually Steve's child with Mary Lee Harvey, his second wife. And it should come as no surprise that Winton had a terrible past if you weren't previously aware of the couple's personal difficulties and the facts of their divorce. Mary Lee Harvey and Steve first spoke in 1989 while shopping in Arlington, Texas. There she was employed as a makeup artist. But the couple quickly got hitched in 1996. They dated for more than 10 years, during which time she supported him so that Steve's career could take off. However, a number of problems emerged, including infidelity and physical abuse, which led to the breakdown of their marriage. 
When he was recording the comedy, she was his wife. Brock could have been there among the crowd. Yes, I am aware. It's amusing that you stated that because in 2003, they noticed that they had given the house that was in Jet Ferry and Atlanta, Georgia, 2003, the Margie name, which raised another alarm. You were still married to him and did not file for divorce in 2005 even though he had put it in Margie's name. I also located those documents, which is why I was. So? So, after that, were you able to find out what automobile y'all lacked using that number? What is its name? Back then, there was no track car, recall, or anything like. When you heard it, did you even question Steve about the phone call? How is this referred to in my household as well? Exactly who was on the phone? Because no one has our personal number. But perhaps. And you do. Then what? This young lady receives our home's phone number. What say you? Well, I'm not sure. Babe, I'm not sure. I have no idea what you're referring to. I'm not sure where she acquired the phone number. What he said was that. Yeah. After their divorce, she started filming YouTube videos to get additional supporters in addition to the custody dispute. According to Mary Lee Harvey, Steve Harvey was not just unfaithful but also physically and emotionally abusive. This would have definitely escalated into something that doesn't represent who we are if I were a furious black lady. If I had been enraged, the divorce's real window would have been the best opportunity for me to strike out. It has definitely taken me a long time to gather my strength in order to feel better, to recuperate, and to deal with the overall situation. Additionally, it is not a heated dispute between two persons. These comments eventually served as his breaking point. Steve Harvey filed a case in court to stop the slander she was now disseminating. He said that because her claims were unsupported by evidence, they were unjustified. But Mary Lee still made Steve public despite that. This divorce drama gained not just media attention but also became a popular conversation subject. People accused Steve Harvey for fostering a hostile environment and showing little concern for his eight-year-old son Winton. Okay, folks. I'm attempting to give Karen Smith, my case manager, this paper. I won't put it on because, you know, but you see, they took my original social security card that I received in the mail and left in my apartment. When I went back to check on it, it was gone because that's the kind of stuff they do. Now that she understood who I was dealing with, I asked her if she could simply write her name down. Do you comprehend? I'm arguing that the Steve who used to be over there isn't here, rather, it's the Steve who used to be at the front. Do you get what I'm saying? So I just said, sign, print, and date. I'm done now. Similar to how I printed and went nicely. Essie is on a mission to confront Steve about all the injustices committed against his ex-wife Mary and their son Winton now that she has all the proof in her possession. What do you think, then? Will Steve be held accountable for his actions this time or not?